to install the Unity game engine on your computer, you should first install the Unity Hub. Go to Google, type in Unity Hub, and the top link should be download Unity at unity3d.com. There should be a green button here for download Unity Hub. Click on that and you should see it download. In the same way that Steam is a single place to access all of your games and seamlessly install workshop mods, Unity Hub is a one-stop shop for pre-made templates, tutorials, and most importantly, different versions of Unity to ensure maximum compatibility with whatever assets you're working with, whenever they were made. Once it's downloaded, click on the download at the bottom of Chrome, hit yes to any requests here, agree to that, sign your life away, and install it in a default location, whether you're on a Mac or a PC, or you'll have some problems later on. Hit finish and it should open up. Again, hit allow access to any requests here. You'll then be presented with a screen that says no license. You can hit dismiss and then it will say you need to be logged in to manage your license. So hit login and you'll need to sign into your Unity ID. If you need to create one, then make one. And once you've followed the instructions on there, you can come back here. When you're signing up for it, be sure to say that you don't earn any money and that you're a student and things like that, and it won't charge you anything. And uh, you'd have to get your confirmation email from the email that you type in and accept the confirmation email. And then you can come back to here. You can hit sign in. Next, you'll need to click on activate new license once you're logged in. So you click on activate new license it will give you the option for personal or pro make sure you choose personal if you're a student make sure you say you don't use unity in a professional capacity and when you hit done on that one it should come up with this page and it should say if you have a personal license and that's then all set up for you you can then go back with the back arrow up here and it might take you to one of these tabs on the left, possibly to the learn tab where you can download pre-made games and follow tutorials on how to edit them and improve them. And most importantly down here, you've got your installs. At the moment, there is no actual version of Unity. You do not have a game engine on your computer yet that you can use. As I said before, this is like Steam. You just downloaded the equivalent of Steam for Unity, but you haven't downloaded any games yet. So before you install a version of Unity, you're going to need to make sure that you have told your computer where to install it to. On Windows, this is usually not a problem, but if you're using this on a Mac, it doesn't work because Macs are silly. So you have to go to the settings. It's best to do this anyway, even on a PC, but just go to your settings cog at the top, especially if you're on a Mac. And in the Unity editors path here, hit the three dots and navigate to where you'd like this to be installed. I usually install uh, versions of Unity in my program files. So go to your C drive, go to program files, and at the bottom you should see a folder called Unity. If not, then make one. And I would select that folder and then hit save. Once you've hit save, you can use the back arrow up here, go to installs, go to add to add a version of Unity. I usually choose the latest one and then go from there if things don't work. And over here, you'll be asked to choose what kind of platforms you'd like to be able to build your game on. You could indeed tick them all, but if you look at the file sizes, it can get quite big. And if you're one of my students, I'd recommend just using a Mac build and Windows build, and you can always add more later if you need to. Then Unity will install. It's several gigabytes in size and will take quite a while. Once the game engine has finished installing, you should see it look like this. Instead of opening up straight away, you might just want to check to see if you need to add any projects beforehand. If you're one of my students, you may be working from a pre-made template or a start as a starting point. If that's the case, then you can download from Google Drive one of the pre-made games. So I'm going to download one of those. Once downloaded, hit the up arrow by your download and hit show and finder. And if it's zipped, you're going to want to do right click extract all and then you're going to want to take the extracted folder from your downloads folder so I'm going to go to my 2d side scroller and copy that into my documents folder so in documents I'd recommend creating a folder if you don't already have one called unity projects so this is different to where unity is installed this is the stuff that you as a human are making instead and then paste the project that you've downloaded in there now to make these projects show up in unity go to the projects tab at the top it says you have no project here and you can hit add and then navigate to your documents 
and then navigate to your Unity project and you can click on your games one by one. So if I've just downloaded this game, I can hit select folder and it pops up in here. I'll do that for this one as well. Now you may get an, an error message saying the editor version is different to the one that's currently installed. You can see this is version 2018.4 and 2017.3, while we have 2019. Now before downloading those other two versions of Unity, it might be worth seeing if they can work in this later version of Unity by moving your mouse over to where it says select a version. I can choose the current version here. And if I then choose to click on here anywhere in this uh, bar now, it's going to come up with this message. So I want to open this up and it's going to say, do you want to upgrade your project to a newer version of Unity? If you have a very complex game, this may cause all sorts of problems. If it's very simple, it's probably going to be OK. So I'm going to hit confirm and see how it goes. You might get a message saying, do you want to upgrade? Just say yes, upgrade the current project. If you are using a project that you made on your computer long ago, I would obviously recommend making a duplicate of it before updating it in this way, or you may break it forever. To be honest, when you're working with game project files, I usually duplicate the whole project file and I'll compress it or zip it at least once a week and put that on Google Drive as incremental saves. So I may end up with things like this and I'll just have backups just to be safe because once you corrupt or break the anything in the folder, you can destroy everything. So be careful. Now, Unity should have opened up. If you do not have a pre-made game to edit, you're going to need to do one of the following. In the Unity Hub, you're going to want to either go to the Learn tab and download one of these pre-made games to edit and improve on and follow tutorials. Or if you do not have any projects to get started with and you don't want to use any of the ones from the Learn projects or tutorials area here, you'll need to go to Projects and create a new project first. Choose a 2D or 3D option and hit Create. If you want some assets to get you started, you'll need to open up the Unity Asset Store. Sometimes it appears as a tab just here. If you can't see it, go to Window Asset Store or Control 9 or Command 9 and it brings up a new tab here and you're then free to browse and download whatever assets you need. But if this is your first time in Unity, I'd highly recommend going through the projects and tutorials here, starting off with something like the platformer game or the karting game and following the instructions in here.